top two bikes they've ever ridden ever see there ever. you go all right what's up guys jared campisi with my father mark campisi welcome back to the channel today's gonna be a really fun video my dad is gonna be riding both of our giveaway bikes our 2023 ducati panigale v2 bayless and our brand new 2024 bmw m1000r don't forget if you sign up right now on my patreon page you'll be entered to win both of these motorcycles until april 6th when we choose a winner for that we had to push the date back a little bit two weeks later so it gives you guys a little bit more time to still get entered to win that bike and of course if you sign up for that bike you also get entered to win for this bike as well so patreon.com slash customs it's always the first link in the description below let's get this video started all right so is this your first time seeing this bike dad yes. okay and then you haven't seen this one in a while now that it's finished it right beautiful so this will be his first time riding this you never rode it in stock form right i don't think so what's the last panigale you rode the 1299 maybe did i don't know if you rode any of the v4s right i can't remember if you did or right. not I just get on what you offer me. And go. <laughs> okay, so this is a V2 Panigale. It has about 160 horsepower pops. Um, we did do the Acra full tie system. It has carbon wheels, all kinds of modifications. It weighed in at 394 pounds or something crazy. Whenever wheelie we were. Control. What's that? It does have wheelie control and all that. Will yeah, you yeah. Put that on? Yeah, it's on. It's, okay. it's already on. Well, we're going to start you off on this bike, I think, and we'll do it in sport mode. Yes. So you'll be all ready to rock. Um, everything's turned on. So you have engine braking, you have your quick shifter, there's traction control, ABS, and then wheelie control as well. Perfect. So Thank you'll you. leave all those on. I want to actually hear you start this thing up. I don't think you've heard this in person yet. Go ahead and start it up. Just Make pull this sure down. It's a neutral. Yeah. Pull, pull that down, down towards you. Yeah. <laughs> I think if you lived in Santa Barbara, there'd be no way you could do what you just did here. Yeah, with all the noise. Definitely not. But here, it's perfect to do yeah, that. Yeah, that was so. beautiful. It's one of my favorite sounding bikes of all time. It just sounds so good. These, the Acura full tie system with the V2 uh, engine. It's, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. So, yeah. so we'll have you ride that one first. But I do want to have you just sit on this real quick too. Well, not and sit that on it. This is a key. This is. Key yeah, fob. so that one you put a key in to start it. This one has a key fob, so you'll Perfect. put that in your pocket. But come around the other side, I just want to show you real quick how it works. So that one is 160 horsepower. This is 210. Good God. Yeah, Look so at the size check it out. Of the screen. Yeah, so 7.5 inch dash. If you press this button, Dad, you just need the key on you, and that's how you turn the bike on. You just press it. Yeah, you don't have to hold it. So look, that'll turn the dash on. Oh, wow. Yeah, look how cool this is. And obviously this is waterproof. Yeah, absolutely. So you got your temperature down here. You got your time over here. Total miles, we have to get up 621 miles until we can do the first service. And then there's your riding modes. I hope you guys can see this. Right here is the riding mode button, Dad, if you want to change it. So you got, you have um, rain. Rain, rain. Yeah, rain, sorry, road, dynamic, and race. So I think I've just been riding in road since we're breaking it in. I'm just looking at that, 1,400. Yeah, I think 14,500 is what it eventually um, goes up to. And then here's your controls over here. When you press these, you can go into different menus. You're not gonna have to do any of this stuff, but look, it'll show you tire pressure, your battery voltage, your miles till empty, your fuel, your engine uh, temperature. It's ridiculous and there's tons and tons. You can hook your phone up to this Pops. It'll do turn by turn navigation on the screen. You can have your music on there, your contacts, make phone calls. It's insane, the technology on this. Yeah, so, um, wow. so oh, and dad, look, heated grips right here oh, look sons of bitches. three modes of heated grips and then cruise control too look turn it on set it yeah so of this course. is like it's it's basically like it's Cadillac. it's the s1000 double r except naked and more comfortable they put high bars on it and stuff like that so do you want to actually here start this up we'll have you start this up real quick too now this is a stock exhaust it's just right here this is just a button you press it down we did already warm it up so We are gonna do a clear clutch on this so that that'll look similar. You can give it some revs.
very quiet. Yeah, very quiet. It'll sound a lot better when you're riding. You'll hear the engine from here. That, but we, that, that did not. <laughs> impress? <laughs> that was a little... <laughs> Wait until we put the full tie system on it, Dad. It's gonna shoot flames. It sounded like a moped. Yeah, and we have a Bren flash for it. It's gonna be nasty. Carbon wheels, of course. So yeah, so this will be your first time riding both of these bikes, right? I can't believe you're telling me this has that much horsepower. In it. And it sounds like that. You're gonna notice as soon as you twist the throttle. Okay. So dad, this bike is, um, it has a soft rev limiter at 8,000. It will not let you go past that. I saw that, that. come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just be aware if you run into the 8,000, it's gonna feel like you're hitting a red line. It's not, it's just not gonna let you go any further. All right, we're all suited up. Pops is gonna start up the V2. I think the first one he rode was the 1199 Panigale, back when Joe lent me his bike for a week to try out. I think he might have ridden the 959, I can't remember. He also rode our 1299 Carbon, so he's ridden a bunch of Panigales, but I do think that he'll like this one the best because it's a good like, spread of power and it's a little bit smoother and easier to ride than those other ones. It so, certainly feels comfortable. Yeah, you're going to like it. It's such a good bike. I ripped that thing for about 60 miles yesterday with Dotto on this bike to try and hit this out for the first time. Dotto loved this, by the way. One of his top three all-time favorite bikes. Mm-hmm. I think you're going to love it, too. Just wow. wait. Yeah. All right, we'll get out on the road and get away from the property, and then we'll start filming. All right. My pops is on the V2 giveaway bike. So we've got about, with the bike and all the parts, Dad, around $50,000 that you're sitting on right now. <laughs> I'm excited for the person that wins this. I Me think too. they're really going to enjoy it. I think so too. So don't forget, you do have a quick shifter on that bike. So you can go off the throttle and kick it down without using the clutch. And you can go on throttle and kick it up without using the clutch. Very nice feature. Mm -hmm. It sounds so amazing. So how does it feel? I'm really very surprised by it. It's, I think, the nicest, most comfortable Panigale I've ridden. Yeah, I would say so, too. I feel pretty stable on it. Uh-huh. With everything that we've done to it and the fact that it is the baby Panigale at 160 horsepower instead of 215 or whatever the other one is, the V4, it's just a lot easier to manage and use, especially for back road type stuff that we do, you know? It's fun. It's a fun bike. You look really good on it. Well, thank you. <laughs> Feel pretty good on it. Those carbon wheels, if you throw it back and forth a little bit, too. <laughs> Do you hear the exhaust crackles? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you decel, like when you're coming to like slow or lower down in the RPMs, it'll do that. In every gear. That's the Bren Flash. Yeah, isn't that sick? That's honestly like in my top five motorcycles. I love that bike. How is it comfort wise? You're already on it? I, I can't believe how light it is. It's really pretty light. 394 pounds it weighed in at with gas on the scales when we were done with it. I don't know of any other Panigale V2. Like that might be one of the most modded Panigale V2s in the world. I can't imagine. The only other things you could really do would be like full carbon fairings and gas tank, you know? But since that was a special edition, we didn't want to do that. So I was just telling my dad, this is gonna be the 16th motorcycle that we've given away, Pops. Can you believe that? Over $1 million worth of motorcycles since we started, wow. yeah, in 2018. I remember when we got our first 959 and I had to put it on a credit card because I couldn't afford it. Well, not a credit card, I had to get a loan for it. And I had no idea like how I was gonna afford that motorcycle. I think it was the biggest loan I ever got in my whole life <laughs> at the time. And now I have like, couple hundred thousand dollars worth of motorcycles you know it's, it's so crazy have you done anything to the bike you're riding yet bone stock dude that's amazing holy shit it, it looks really good and i like it i kind of really like that light blue shock in there yeah it matches look the even the front olins yeah. or, sorry it's not olins the front suspension is black you know and then, i actually like the way they've accented the bike with the carbon fiber parts and where they're at. Does it, like doesn't it. it remind you of the M1000RR we built, remember? The black carbon when we put the, the okay. graphic. Okay, you know, I knew it was reminding People were me saying something. that they stole our, our graphic idea wow. for their new models. I'm glad they did. It looks awesome. It looks beautiful. Uh-huh. 
So I want to show my dad how this has hill hold mode. So there's a gyroscope in there and it'll sense when you're on a hill and it'll do it automatically. That's amazing. Or if you want to engage it, you just you just squeeze the brake twice. See that disengaged it and now it re-engaged it. All right, let's go. But yeah, it's pretty, uh, like I said, this I think this has some of the most, left dad, left. I think this has some of the most tech in any bike on the road, aside from like an, a, an adventure bike or like a, you know what I mean, touring bike. Let's okay, go. I'm sorry, I was kind of focused on the uh, intersection there. Yeah. But what did you, it just has like a gyro or something in it that yeah, realizes it, you're on an angle, so yeah. it automatically locks itself? Exactly. Or you can disengage it by pulling in the brake, or you can re-engage it by pressing the brake again. That is amazing. <laughs> yeah. That is so cool. Yeah, it's really nice. Give it some throttle. And then, Dad, throw it back and forth a little bit. Feel the carbon wheels. You know, just like go back and forth. Isn't that crazy? There's a hard left coming up here. Just a heads up. And those front brakes still need bled. Thought I was gonna do that before we give it away. So they are not quite as bitey as they should be right now. So just a heads up. How's it feel? Wow. <laughs> it's a fun bike. It has so much character, doesn't it? You're just ripping around turns, like no problem. Look, it looks like a train. Oh yeah, I think they did that on purpose. How awesome is this road? This is where I do all my braking miles and stuff on. Wow, the bike is really responsive. Someone is really going to be happy with this one. Yeah, it's a really good bike. Hey, I didn't even ask you, does this bike have restrictions on it right now or anything? Nope, it's fully it's unlocked. Okay if I get on it a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. It's broken in, wow. everything. Yep. You can rip it as hard as you want. I want you to actually like twist the throttle and feel the power. Oh, I think I was feeling it there. <laughs> and, and, and you're right, I didn't like open it all the way and I was still feeling a lot. Uh-huh. I love the sound of that engine. And the way that it makes power, it's so special. I love that bike. I'm really excited to see who wins it. I'm really excited to see these mountains starting to turn green. I know. I've been waiting for this weather. Thank God it's finally getting here. I know. I think we have another week or two and then it'll be really good for a while. Yeah, it was a little discouraging to see it was going to be below freezing a I few know. days next week. I was like, here, Son of a bitch. let's pull into the church parking lot up here and you can hop on this. That sound good? Oh yeah, I have fond memories here. <laughs> when, you, <laughs> when you got your flat tire? Yeah. <laughs> was happy to make it there. Yeah, we were lucky Dad was able to come get us. We'll just pull straight on in. Actually, if you want to turn the bike around, Dad, we'll just go straight back. Because then you can hop on your bike and I'll put, continue to put brake-in miles on this bad boy. What do you think? This is a fun bike. Yeah, dude, it's super fun. The, the riding position is obviously a little more committed than a naked bike or your Diablo, you know? But it's not yeah, bad. Yeah, but for the fun you want to have on it, yeah, you, yeah. you kind of need to be down there like that. What a bike. And you see the titanium, how it's all blued in and purple and shit? Gorgeous coloring right there. I know. And just wants to get someone that, that wants to add more color to it. I'm excited. But all right, let's get you on the, uh, on the BMW. So we're gonna leave you in road mode. What is that? It's just for the key. Uh, the, it, the key goes here to take this off for your storage, your rear storage. There's not much, but I mean, it's something. I was going to say, can you put a soda in there? No. Maybe, not? No. Oh my Maybe God. a candy bar, if you're lucky, if it's a small candy bar. 
Yeah, this is a lot more committed. Now, does this bike have any of the quick shift features and stuff like that? Yeah, exact same thing. So you can you can uh, go on throttle and shift up without the clutch and then off throttle and shift down without the clutch. You're going to notice that's one of the best quick shifters you've ever used in your life. Like just try shifting up or even right now, it won't really lurch forward even when you're going slow and shit. Wow! <laughs> Isn't it crazy? Oh my god, that was smooth! It's insanely oh, oh. smooth. But you know what the nice thing is? Those M rear sets that come on that bike, they have a nice like mechanical feel to them. Otherwise, you wouldn't really know if you were shifting or not. Wow. So it's nice that they did that. We just got passed by an adventure bike. Because you're riding like a bitch. Uh, I'm just trying not to go into that 8,000 oh, RPM you're, it doesn't. Mode. It doesn't matter. That's why it's there. So you don't have to worry about it. You're good. So see how that, feel how good that bike is back and forth. Like, to throw it around, it's so light, it's crazy. I am very comfortable on that. Isn't it nice? It's a good riding position. So, you, like I said, you got heated grips, cruise control, wheelie control, tracks control, you got hill hold mode, a bunch of different riding modes. Oh, Dad, be careful on the front brakes. They're very grabby. Like, Thank you for that. When you touch it once, yeah. It's like they're really good. <laughs> like as soon as they're ready to make contact, it's yeah. like contact. It's grabbing. Yeah, that this bike is way more stiff than that one. That also has electronic suspension, Dad, so as you change riding modes, it stiffens and softens that suspension. Oh which, my god. Which is really nice, yeah. Give it a little gas. You can pretty much full throttle it, Dad. Dude, I'm trying to talk myself out of the fact that I might not be on a, an electric bike. <laughs> That's what Dado said too. This thing is so smooth and clean. Yeah, and you can't and you can't really hear the engine right now. No. When we put the exhaust and tune on it, it's gonna be absolutely bonkers. Just wait. Isn't it so easy to ride? I, I hate to comment on riding a bike after being on it for a short period of time. Oh, yeah, I got you. But I'm, I want to. <laughs> wow, those front brakes were a little I told you. I told you. And just to give you an idea, Pops, that bike right now is so detuned. When we do a, a full exhaust and the Bren flash, it's gonna pick up around 40 horsepower in some of those gears. In like in the mid range. So it's like you're getting like a tiny fraction of the power right now. How much was this bike? It was 27,000 plus taxes and fees. That's the best naked BMW you can buy, the M. Dude, this bike is amazing. I told you. It's so good, dude. Like, I would really like to experience the different modes and, you know, go off-road a little bit, like on gravel. It could it could honestly do everything. You could I, take it almost, to the, I almost think it could. It, you could like take it to the track. You can commute on that bike. I mean, you wouldn't really want to do off-roading, but you could go on gravel for sure, you know? Yeah, I do think you could do cross-country crap on this. Oh yeah, definitely. And I was, I was like three-quarter throttle there just to keep up with you. And this is fully flashed and tuned. It, wow. It's deceptively fast. You don't realize how fast you're going on that bike. This thing is nuts. Isn't it so good? I'm really excited to get the modifications on it and see how it feels. Because I think we can shave another 20 to 30 pounds off that bike. And it already was one of the lowest 
weighted bikes in stock form, it was 442 pounds. So that's like Panigale range, you know? So what do you think, Pops? I love this bike. <laughs> it's it's kind of up there with your Diablo, huh? I really like this bike. It's like I always wanted to take my Diablo over to Italy and just go up and down the coast. Yeah. But I could picture doing that on this bike too. Absolutely. And, and, and enjoying it. I do think that your Diablo would still be a little bit better on the highway for long periods of time because it breaks the wind a little bit better than this bike does. But that's and about it. I am more it. like I'm on a recliner a little yes. bit more on yeah. the Diablo. That seat can get a little tough after an hour or two. Your butt kind of can get a little numb. I think maybe... Whoa, what is this guy doing? It's the second guy that's been in our lane. Um, you can get a comfort seat for it if you're gonna do like longer rides. That's yeah. Not, that's probably what you'd wanna do. But other than that, I mean, dude, you put an exhaust on it with a tune and then do a tail tidy and some bar end mirrors and it's literally done. Like it's, there's really nothing you need to do to it. It's such a good bike. I always feel a little nostalgia when we go by that. I know, we used to entrance. live in that development. I, I really enjoyed you guys growing up when we lived there. It was an awesome place to grow up. Having the creek and our basketball and playing football in the backyard and all that with the friends. It was a lot of fun. So I think what we'll do, Pops, is we'll get back home and then we'll film off the bike and you can kind of share like your final thoughts on everything. I know it was a short ride, but we want to get him on his Diablo and go out and ride. And, and do not worry, I, I am formulating my opinion right now. Okay, good. All right, we're back home. My pops just pulled his Diablo out. Still alive and kicking in my most viewed video on my YouTube channel. That's 7 million views when I surprised him with it. Beautiful. We're hoping that it gets to at least one more season and then I'm thinking maybe Easily. we can get him, maybe get him another Diablo, a newer one, a 1260 or a V4 possibly, we'll see. One with at least that has cruise control. Um, so, Pops, what do you think? We'll start with the V2. What do you think of that bad boy? Fun bike. Yeah. Very responsive, fun to ride, a lot of fun. Very enjoyable. And still bike. not too uncomfortable for a sport bike, right? Abs I agree with like that. Like it wasn't that it, bad. And at my age, I tightened up. But yeah. I didn't experience any of that or anything. I thought that was a great. A bike. fun amount of power, easy to ride. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, truthfully, yeah. Okay, and then what do you think about this bad boy? This is what I'd He's say speechless. about this bike. A, I would, if I had an opportunity to ride it more, I could you give can. a more definitive yeah, answer. You can. you can ride it whenever you want. One of my top two bikes. That you've ever ridden? Ever. See? There ever. you go. Dotto said the same I thing. I cannot believe it. was in Dotto's top three. I can't believe it. It's in my that. top three too. And that's in stock form, Dad. Yeah, just wait till we just, put an exhaust on it. Just, you know? Isn't and, that crazy? And that's an amazing thing. Yeah. Thing. They did a really good job with this bike. I'm very impressed with it. So again, guys, if you sign up on Patreon between now and April 5th, you can be entered to win both these bikes, our Panigale a V2 Bayless and our brand new M1000 Single R. You heard it from the legend himself, Mr. Mark Campese. He said it's one of his top two favorite bikes of all time. Yeah. So there you go. We're gonna get more seat time on this for him. I'm actually gonna go riding with him right now. We're gonna ride over to the casino and get some pizza and do some gambling and uh, just enjoy ourselves. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I know it's been a while since Pops has been on it. We'll be doing a lot more videos together now that it's starting to get nicer outside. And uh, I'm really excited. So if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a big old juicy thumbs up, subscribe for more, and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace.